so here hi so in this one we are going to talk about the 2d movement specifically so basically whenever we start the game we think of how we can move the character right so in this film we are going to talk about the four and eight way movement click and move movement and rotation and movement or uh, that will be done by a mouse so what i will do is before we get started we have to go uh, with the project and then in the project what we do is let's go with the project setting first so we have to first tell them that okay what we mean by what okay so what i can do is uh, i can go to a new action okay and let's say i will call it as left okay i will add it and then i will click on this and for left what i will press i will press a okay and then similarly let's say i will add another action that is called right and for right um, what i will press i will press b okay uh, let's do the same for the others okay so once we are done what i do now i close it okay now the next thing is as i said now let's try to move the character so so to move the character what we have to do is let's close this let me just delete this so let's click on this plus other node and here you have to you select a character body 2d okay so this can be same for any rigid body or area 2d also so rigid uh okay but um i'm like uh, i'm doing for the character body okay so uh next what we will do is next we will uh it asks for a collision shape so what we do is uh, let's keep it here okay and uh, let's add a collision shape also with it because it needs a collision shape to be added just do it okay now next thing what it asks is ah okay well when when we select this uh, uh collision body what i do is let me just first make sure that i add the icon and this icon looks quite huge so i resize it so i make sure it's here and this icon body is nothing but it's part of this okay now what we will do is we will set a collision body we will make sure that the shape is rectangle so whenever something hits to this okay i'm just adding it random for formality now as i said we will be focusing on the movement right so what we have to do is we have to move it in all the directions so what i will do is i will click on this character body okay so what I will do is now I will add a script. Uh, so by default, if you have a like, it will give you a basic movement syntax. Let's use it. So by default, uh, Godot gives you all of this. But what we will do is now let me just take all of this so that we can deploy things by our own. So first thing first, what we will do is first we will export a war speed of let's call it as 400 so why i'm exporting this so i can configure it directly from outside okay then what i do i let's create a create a function let's call it as get input so what this get input will does is it will take it will get the input direction right so let's take the input direction so this will be nothing but a vector uh, and it will be telling us where the direction is so what I will do is I will I will now use the input method here input dot get vector now this get vector what it does is it will take all the left right up down and uh, and it will sum up and it will return a direction vector that will be nothing but a coordinate of x and y so just to show that what I will do is I will tell them I need left uh,
Okay. What I will do is, I will uh, make sure I'll just get this. Wow, what I say? Let's print this first. Okay. So we can get this direction. Now let me just print this. And uh, let's create a function called uh, func. So all the what I say private or let's say the uh, what are inbuilt come uh, inbuilt functions which comes from go dot you can always start with underscore so this we, we will write physics dot process so this uh, runs automatically every times so and we want to make sure that this function what the input we are writing is always running every time right so what I will do is I will call the function here okay now let's see now it will print a lot of time because as I said this runs multiple times so I will just what I will do is uh, I will call this player and now let's run this to run only the current scene you have to hit this one button and now as you can see it's giving me 0 0 0 now if I press as you can see if I press A it's changing and then if I press D it's changing if I press S, it's changing. And if I press W, the Y coordinate because W is up, so Y coordinate is changing. But again, it's coming to zero. Why? Because this is not moving. So what we do now? Let's. We have got the direction wherever it's it was moving. What we will do is we will let's move the character. So to move the character, we will change its velocity. Now, how we will change the velocity? So in the direction where it's moving okay i will add where it want to move right so let's say it want to move to what i say this y coordinate at position one when i press w right so what i will do is i will multiply it with the speed okay now this will what it will do is it will uh it will change the velocity but now if i show you something i want to show you what this exactly let's say whenever we convert or vector into this speed is nothing but it will be a number right so whenever I want to show you whenever you convert anything to vector into you know speed uh, a number that time what you get so if I play it right now uh, cancel if I play it right now okay so you see so instead of by one it became 400 now so it, it's multiplying it so if press w the y coordinate becomes 400 i release it check it okay so when you multiply anything vector by number it's giving you uh it applies to that particular value so uh just to show you so if i uh it can have i think x coordinate and y coordinate if you see so if I write only y, so it will be moving only towards the y, but we don't want that. We want to move uh, it towards a specific direction, right? So input, which is a vector into speed, it gives you the calculated value, okay? Now we have moved it, but now if you see, it, we were not still able to move it. Now to move that, we have to we have to uh, run a command called move and slide now just move and slide right I will just write it move and slide now this actually tells uh, the player that okay now you are able to move so if you want to read the documentation you can just control click on this move the body based upon the velocity so if the body collides with another the slide of the body but this is not what we need so what do you, what is the catch point here is that it moves the body based upon the velocity so we are we are changing the velocity yes we are changing the velocity so uh, where it was so now if I click on play now as you can see if I press D it's changing its velocity okay now there's one uh, issue when I press W it's going down <laughs> to check why so what I do here is left uh, I go to my this project input setting so when I press W it's going up and down it's going S okay left A D this so let me just check it something is wrong 
Okay. Okay. Oops. I think I pressed wrong key. By the way. Okay. So this is how it is. And um, yeah. So this was about the this uh, like how we can move it. And now the next thing is let's say you want to move it in uh, what I say multiple direction is what we wanted to test. So if I press this, oops. Let's uh, this to, together as you can see it's moving diagonally. So this is also now possible because of this vector. You get vector. Okay. Now what we do is now let's say whenever we move it right. Whenever we move it, we want to uh, move it with the uh, rotation. So if you have seen the other demo where it was, which I wanted to show you was this. If I go back, we wanted to. Uh, do a rotate and move so whenever we move this will face towards where we are looking so if i go to the code again mm, here now what we will do here is uh we let's keep the speed as it is now let's export another thing that will be nothing but rotation so rotation speed so this rotation speed is nothing but the rotation of the player by which it's moving and uh, let's create uh, a rotation direction so, so here we have added two variables to track our rotation direction and speed okay so this will be rotation direction and this will be speed let's keep it zero okay the rotation is applied directly to the when the body rotates okay so how to know that our body rotates right we have so that is the property if you go uh, to this so that is a rotation uh, if you can see we we are setting the rotation directly if, <laughs> here so if you have seen here right so whatever i am doing export it's coming here okay now what we will do is uh, there is something called rotation property here which you see right so we will be modifying this programmatic in you know, how we will do this that i will show you okay now uh, what i will do is to set the velocity we use bodies transform x okay so this position which you see right that we will move it so if i show you uh, if, if, if we change this this x will also change so right now uh, if i go to this 2 d now and now if i change it to oops uh, uh, we have to do it again so if I, if I change this this will also change which you saw now if I rotate this this will rotate now what we will do is let's go back to the script okay now um, Hmm. what we will do is in the get input which we have created earlier okay so instead of getting like moving it every direction what i will do is whenever i press left or right okay so instead of uh, get vector if i write get axis okay so in get axis it will only check for what i say the ax only axis coordinate so I it can be either two values so i have selected uh, let, uh, by default you know like uh, if you don't want to create your input maps uh, you can just directly go and just type left uh, remove all of this so even if you have not created uh, go dot provides you by default so and if you click on uh, ui right okay now what i do here so instead of input direction let's name it as let's name it as uh, rotation direction rotation direction now this rotation direction will give us a what i say uh, vector i think again and so if you want to see it will give you a float get access let's go up okay uh, it will give you a vector that's for sure so what i will do is uh, let's go to this script here again now let's see what it exactly it gives 
but before that let's not debug it and waste our time and uh, what i wanted to check now is that uh, we get the direction and then what we will do is we will rotate it the i to move it we need to change the velocity property right so velocity is nothing but what we will do is of this character body okay of this character body so if you want to access directly the properties of this you can di di write directly like transform transform dot what i say x and uh, i will move it uh, i will change the value of x where this value uh, is getting moved so what i will do is uh, so let me just copy this again here so whenever the user press down or whenever the user let's say press up okay that time what i will do is i will transform it and while i am transforming it uh, i will change uh, we need always a vector right so the up and down it will turn towards up and down okay and then uh, i will change it with the speed like with how much speed we need okay now what i do is in every time now see if i run this if i run this and i just show you something so if we see in the print the rotation direction i am getting what i am getting axis that is zero so it's not a vector okay it's not a vector um so like what i do is it's not rotating to so we have to rotate it okay so let me just i want to remove this i just wanted to check if we have created our own bindings will it work because by default if you use this it will still work like you don't have to use binding see now it's working but now it's working now okay ah but now the only thing is when i press uh, left so it's actually changing whenever i move the velocity up and when i press s so w on s the velocity is getting changed and uh, the value which we have that is also getting change okay and with the speed how much speed we need so, so that i have kept 50 but now that thing is okay but now we need to move it right so what i will do is i will change its rotation property rotation property which i think i have not used it so rotation property what i will do is that i will make it to rotation direction so this rotation direction we are getting directly as the value okay and i will change it by the rotation speed so the by speed it's moving by the speed it should turn also and yeah you should always use delta because how to say this if you want to know what is delta there is a documentation but what i will do is just to let you know i think uh, it's usually a new one so i just show you that also and i remove this direction uh, now if i play it okay so this is the delta so it's always usually in uh, 0 0.6 0 0.7 it doesn't matter so now if you see it's moving did you saw so now if i press upwards and whenever i press d and a that time only it's removing so let's say whenever you want to move diagonally right so you can directly do by this oops it went actually outside check it okay so whenever you whenever you are pressing this right up and down that time only we are changing its velocity 
and the ideal case was whenever you are using omnidirectional, eight directional. So only for or during diagonal, that time we wanted this to happen, right? Okay, the last thing which I wanted to show was the rotation and movement. Now, rotation and movement, uh, like wherever you click somewhere, it should move. So it's quite simple. So what we have to change is nothing but the look at property. So um, what I will do is I will uh, uh, I will modify this. Okay, let's modify this. Okay, now we will we will play with the look at property so now this look at property so where we where the so wherever our mouse goes right there it should change so let's see what this look at property accepts so it accepts a vector okay so um, i go to this player script to the script okay where I was okay so it accepts a vector now whenever you click or whenever you want to have get the globe your mouse position right whenever you are hovering the on the screen you can do this now where, what will this do is let's keep this as it is okay now let me just instead of rotating this instead of printing any of the delta right now what I do is, um, I think we can play it. Something. Uh, let's remove the other ones which we don't need anymore. So if I remove this, better. If okay. now I try to play it. So I don't know where it is. Okay, uh, let's see why it's not showing on the screen. It might be because I've set it at very. Ah, uh, we have to do it for the player, right? Okay, I have to actually play this one. Okay, so now if you see wherever my mouse moves, it's looking me there because it's getting the global condition. Okay, but that this is nice. And let's say whenever I press up and down, it's moving in that direction. Simple, right? Okay, now let me just close this up. Now, uh, the last thing is I want to do is a click and move. So let's say, uh, so you want to control the character by clicking on the screen and that will cause the player to move to the target. Now, how we will do that is let's go to the script. So what I will do is um, let's create a war speed, okay? and so uh, what i will do is huh, let's get the uh, input okay every time a user clicks so we can't create the input binding for each of the you know where the user clicks so to get that what we do is we use the function which product provides that is input okay which emits nothing but an event okay now what we do is uh, it even uh, emits a lot of event whenever let's say the blue xyz any of those things if i click on this control click command click sorry called whenever there's an input event the input pro propagates up through the node until the node consumes. it is only called if input processing is enabled which is done automatically okay check it uh, let's go back to the code script again i uh, Okay, I always find difficulty in going back to the code here. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah. Okay. So what we will do is, if the event dot, if the event dot, what I say is, action pressed is let's say a click. Okay. Uh, action press. It's a click. That time, what I will do is, uh, I will, I will get okay. I will get uh, I will get its global position which will be nothing but a mouse vector so first I will check whether it works or not right so what I will do is click okay I will just run it it's always better to check okay so if I if I click here oops it's not working I have to check why 
Okay, I think I have not. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not working. I will check on that. So, mm -mm. I print click. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. So, if I click again, I'm clicking anywhere here, 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 here. So, there is some error which I can see which is coming. Input map action clicks. Oh, so we haven't did that for UI. Now, if I do this, this UI has something called click. <laughs> no, I think let's try. I don't know. It doesn't have something called click. So, what I will do is let's go to the project setting again. Let's add a new action called click. And ah, no, no, no. no. How to do a normal click here? So, mm -mm. if I click on this left button, I think that is good enough. So, uh, now if I play here, uh, let's see. See now whenever I click since I'm on my laptop. So yeah, so whenever I click this is getting pressed. Okay. Now what we will do is we need whenever we click we will get its uh, vector right and that vector is what we will use to change its velocity which we need used right. Okay, so what I will do is let's create a target here. The target will be nothing but a uh, um, target will be nothing but a, a vector. So initially, if you want to get the position of it, so this position is also nothing but it's a vector. So if I show you here, I click on print. I show you the position. So we will set it to its initial position. If I click, so we are getting its vector, which is at this point. Okay. Uh, now if I go here, now initially the position will be this. So whenever uh, this is clicked, what I will do is I will set this target to uh, what I say, get mouse global position. Okay, it will update the target. And next is what we have to move this. Okay, now how we will move this is, mm, let's keep it like this and uh, what i will do is i will change the position okay uh, it's better to actually yeah so what i will do is i will change the position oh uh, it's not position mm, okay position distance to yeah so this is what you need is so vector direction to so it will move to the target okay okay now by how much speed it should move you can write it here that also okay it will keep on updating now one more thing here now if position and let's say that uh huh, but first let's check it here if it's working so what i will do is move and slide okay i will just try to click on play now if I click here, whoops, it comes here. See, so it's moving wherever I want. Now, uh, this position to distance to target. Like if let's say we don't want to move every small small unit, right? So what I will do is I will not allow it. We will only allow let's say if it is greater than you know something. So what I will do is uh, first let me just show you this velocity this velocity remember it's a number right so um, mm, if i go to this i just want to know uh, what exactly we have here so um if i check here this actually returns a vector so yeah it returns a vector which you see hmm okay so um, if i go here now it returns a vector now what i will do is 
let me just first check it here once let's see what it prints mm. okay so what i can do is i can check if the position dot uh, target let's say is greater than 10 that time only i will move it and slide i will just tell you what i'm doing here is but actually the vector to can't have this int so actually no 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 this i think we can check it so we can tell it uh let's say if you want you can add a vector here directly and you can just check it okay if it is greater than you know 100 or 200 mm then we can move over but we don't want to do this let's keep it like this okay and that's it so let's uh, close summarize this so you you so you now know how to you know move your project and when the the technique can be used on the basis of the following character game right so you have to follow the so, uh, wherever your mouse click so i hope this was quite helpful if yes don't forget to hit like. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.